Meeting Blake for the first time was, it's kind of crazy. Like sometimes you meet people and you feel like you already know them. He has that, he has that energy, that positive energy. When you meet him, it's, you think you've known him for a long time. So he's uh, very welcoming, he's extremely grateful. I can't say enough about, about Blake. And he has a big heart, because he's not just looking to improve his own performance, but he's also looking to improve those around him. I can remember when um, I won my first medal. Oh yeah, it was a medal, but it was the process that I went through to get there to that point. They told me I would never walk a day. The doctor said I would never run, jump, play, play sports. And now here I am running for my country. Our challenge is to get Blake to the 2016 Rio Games. This is about learning and this is about really challenging ourselves to look beyond the blade. The Design Storm was one of the most engaging projects I've worked on at Art Center. It was a unique experience to have the end user there in the studio kind of influencing the process and the designs. It's really up to us to, to push the ideas forward that we think are best and work with Blake to create something that is refined where we're really trying to change that word disability and turn it on its head. We really want to take this project to the next level. We don't want to talk about a blade. So we really started to ask the questions, how do you design something for the human being? As a, a user, I have to adapt to the blade. That's a huge problem. The person who's using the product shouldn't have to adapt to the product. The product should adapt to them. Every person is different. Every runner is different. Every amputee is different. So not every amputee can wear the same leg. The thing we need is to take a step back. What does that person need? The blade that is currently being used by Blake hasn't really been altered in almost eight years. The project right now is in still the development phase. You listen to him talk about the first time he got up onto a set of blades and he was able to run and feel the wind on his face. It gave us that excitement to move forward and develop this product for him so he can relive that experience every day. What I hope to come out this project is a running prosthetic that will make me faster. Something different, something unique, something that the world has never seen before. It was obvious when you went and watched Blake that there are all of these points of opportunity around the track, starting with the start of the race. The blades aren't really made for blocks. You see when Blake takes out of the blocks, you'll see that he has an odd moment when he throws his arms back and he's out of balance. When you get to a curve, we know that he's losing about 40% on that curve. That's exciting because now we know we have a super athlete who's just on top of devices that need to be perfected a little bit. If I make the able body Olympic team, I can make a difference. You know, I can change a lot of lives. I can change a lot of mindset, especially the mindset and, and the conception of disability and how people perceive it. It means I want to compete to say I'm one of the fastest runners in the world, legs or no legs. Everything we learn throughout this process is going to enable us to perfect or at least develop products for the general population of prosthetic users. I realize at the end of the day, not a lot of people want to be Paralympians. You know, not a lot of people want to, want to be right in front of 85,000 people. The heart of it is actually changing lives. What can we find to help the general population? I have a feeling that we can find something in this, in this general area that can help a lot of people. It's not just about him going to the Olympics and just accomplishing that dream that he has. Blake can really help change people's minds. And if I can help someone else accomplish their dreams while I'm chasing mine, you know, we all win.